Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own calendar inside of System.io. So if you're planning to offer free calls or paid calls, you can do that directly from your System.io funnels. First of all, what you have to do is you enter your System.io account and then go to CRM and then click on calendar. So you will have to first set up your calendar here. So you click here on create new event. Either you pick an individual event, which is a one on one, or if you're doing a group call, then you pick a group event. OK, um, in this case, I'm going to go with the individual event. Click on confirm and you're going to set up the event details. So let's say this is a 30 minute connect call. Um, it's going to be 30 minutes. Um, that's me, the host. If you want, you can add your own picture here as well. Um, and then you pick the location. Is it an online meeting? Is it happening on Zoom? Is it happening through phone? Or is it, uh, um, is it happening somewhere um, in a location, right? A personal location. So once you have decided that, normally we do online meetings on Zoom. So when you press on online meeting, you can actually pick where is it going to be, either Zoom, Google Meet, or if it's happening outside, you're, maybe you're using a third party tool, which is not Zoom or Google Meet, just drop the meeting link here. So in this case, I'm just going to um, go with Zoom. Now, if you select Zoom, you first need to also connect or integrate Zoom with System.io. In order to do that, you go to your System.io settings, go to integrations and click here on Zoom. Once you click on Zoom, it's going to ask you to connect your um, Zoom account by logging in. And once you do that, it will automatically connect. So once that step is done, then when you're connecting here or when you're selecting Zoom, it will automatically accept your Zoom location. And then you can go ahead and drop a description. So um, this is a 30 minute the next call to learn more about what you do and how I can support you to grow your business. All right, um, Google Calendar, add this event to Google Calendar. So if you want to add to a Google Calendar, you can turn that on and then you select Calendar. Um, if not, then you just um, Keep that off and then you pick your availability so you can uh, select the date range and then based on that you can set up your weekly availability um, or you can use global availability which is what I use right so if you click on use global availability then when you go to um, let me show you this let me just finish up here um, if you want to set up um, different hours for this specific calendar, then you're going to turn this off and you're going to set up your weekly availability, right? So in order to do that, you just click here on Monday and then set up your timings. Okay, if you want to add more timings, you can just click here on add a time slot and add more timings, okay? Now, if you want to use a global availability, which is, um, you know, timings for most of your calendars, then you turn that on. And I'll show you where you can set up your global availability. That way, once you set this on, it will show the timings you're normally available on on every calendar. OK, you can also set up uh, availability on specific dates. You will have to select uh, time increments, which um, I recommend either 15 to 30 minutes. This means that when there are two appointments and they are not booked, um, depending on your time increment, it will show them the time. For example, your time increment here is 30 minutes and there is availability between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. So it's going to start showing 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., um, 10 a.m., right? But if you choose 15 minutes, it's going to be 9 a.m., 9.15 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 9.45 a.m. So it's incrementing 15 minutes um, in between um, two time slots. And then you can set up a daily limit. So this means that you can have 
a number of events that can booked that can be booked in a day. So let's say you don't want more than two meetings per day. So you just add it here. That way you will only book two meetings and not more than that. Okay. Um, and then here we have the buffer time. This basically just adds extra time so you don't have back to back meetings. So you can add a buffer time of maybe 10 minutes to 20 minutes. 20 minutes before and 20 minutes after. All right. And then time so display automatically detect and show the time in my invitees time zone, which is what I will recommend. So have that um, turned on. All for here, you can go ahead and save. And what you have to do now is you can test out your availability, your timings, and we're going to set up our global availability. So you're going to click here on availability, and this is where you're going to set up your global availability. It's update specific availability here. So you, on a specific date, if you're only available for, let's say, an hour or two, you can um, set up the date and time slot here. Um, if you're unavailable on a specific day or date, then you just set it up here. Okay. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple. And once you're done, you just click save. And over here, you'll find all the bookings that have already been booked. Okay. If you want, you can always go ahead and cancel a booking or reschedule a booking if you want. You can also look out for uh, more details about the booking who booked the event, where is the event happening, how long is the event. And again, over here, you can reschedule the booking. All right, so that is how you set up your calendar. Now you are going to connect that calendar to your funnel. So for that, we are going to build up a funnel. And then on that funnel page, we are going to add the calendar. So in this case, you can add a calendar on a squeeze page. You can also add a calendar on the order form, um, but there are two different calendars. So I'll show you each one of those. So let's go ahead and add a calendar to our squeeze page. Let's say that I am offering free 30 minute connect calls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a squeeze page and I'm going to add a calendar here. There we go. And then I'm going to set up the details here. So when you click here, you can set up the details here. So step one, if you want to change that headline, you can change it here. Um, the sub headline, next step button text. So um, if you want to change that, um, and let's say you want to add, go to next step. So this is going to um, change the button. See, go to next step. And then time format is 24 hours. Now here you need to select an event. This is why you first need to set up a calendar before you create a funnel and add the calendar in the funnel. So we created the 30 minute connect call calendar. Now we're just gonna connect it. There we go. And then if you want, you can play around with the colors so that the colors are up to your branding. All right, so title colors, let's say. All right, text color. All right, so that's pretty much it here. And then we go to step number two, which is filling up the form. So you click here on the form side and this is the form. Um, so headline step number two, Fill in the form 24 hour time calendar event is 30 minute connect call and then if you want you can add more questions this is interesting because this wasn't available before so this is a great update now you can add extra questions here um so let's say i want to ask, ask a question how familiar are you with system io and then placeholder, what's on your mind. You can even change that if you want. So there you go. There is the question here. You can add more questions, as many questions as you want. You can add here. 
um, for now, uh, there are no multiple choice questions where they can just select. They have to type it down, okay? Um, and then you can choose your font size if you want to um, increase it or make the letters um, smaller. It's totally up to you. You can play around with this. And then once people have already filled up the calendar, they click here on the submit button and they will be taken to the thank you page. And over here you can um, add a subheadline. So thank you for booking a call, connect call. Um, if you want to redirect them to another page, you can actually put a custom URL here, or let's say you have a page created in your funnel, you can redirect them there, right? If you don't want to redirect them anywhere, then just select no redirection. Time format again is 24 hour time and event 30 minute call. And there we go. That's how you set up a free calendar in your squeeze page. Now we can go ahead and save and if you want, you can preview and test it out yourself to see if everything is good. Make sure that you're also checking your timing availability if it is fine. If not, then go back to your calendar and make changes there. All right, now the next type of calendar is on the order form and on the order form, you set up a paid calendar. So let's say you are not doing a free call, but you're offering paid calls. So for that, you first go to your editor and scroll down and you'll find this paid calendar under the payment option here. So you're gonna click on it and drag it and drop it here. Now you're gonna start setting up your paid calendar. So once again, you set up the headline, sub headline, um, next step, button text and the time format go ahead and click on the form option which is step number two and over here you will start um, editing the headline subheadline button text time format and then over here um you can add a headline here so you can write the name of the um, calendar so 30 minutes paid call with Ms. Bell. And then once you're done, go ahead and click save. We're not done here. We still need to set up our payment plan for the calendar. So click save and go back. And over here under configuration, you need to set up the pricing. So you are going to now select your digital product. So let me start that from scratch. So let's call it um, fast calendar. And then the price plan. If you don't have a price plan, you can go ahead and create one. If you already have a price plan, um, you can just select from an existing one. So in my case, I have an existing test plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and save and save. All right, so we have already set up our calendar. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the funnel and test it out. So this is the link to my funnel. Let's go ahead and test it out and see if the price shows up. All right, next step. So this doesn't go unless you pick a uh, timing, which is good. Um, it's something that you always have to pick. So I don't see a timing available here for me. Let's go back to our funnel here. Oh, I see why, because we haven't connected the calendar yet. So we are going back to where we set up the pricing. That's where you have to also connect the calendar. So system I knows this is a calendar they're actually um, paying for. So over here on resources, you are going to connect the calendar. So select resource, calendar events, and then choose event, terminate call, and then make sure to save it. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and test it out again and see if it finally works.
Perfect. So it's already showing us the timing. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one timing. Next step. Awesome. All right. So this worked. And now you can go ahead and test the payment just to see if everything's going true to make sure that your funnel is working, your calendar is working before you set your funnel live. All right, so I hope you guys like this video and I hope you start using the calendar feature available in System.io. In case you want to use your calendar uh, from Calendly, um, then you can embed your Calendly calendar in your funnel pages. How you do that is, first of all, um, let's say you don't want to use this feature from System.io which I highly recommend you use it now because they have improved it so much. But if you're still used to your Calendly calendar, like I am, it's going to take me some time to move completely to um, system my calendars, but I am starting to use slowly, slowly. So uh, I hope you do too. All right. So what you're going to do is you are going to add the raw HTML to your page. So let's say I want to add it here. Um, but before adding, let me just move this so it doesn't create more confusion here. Okay. So add a row here. And then bring that below. All right. So you are going to add a row first, and then you're going to add the HTML in the row. And now you're going to click on the raw HTML code, click on edit code. And over here, that's where you're going to paste the code for your Calendly calendar. So go to your Calendly, pick a calendar. Let's say I want to have this connect call um, added to my system my funnel. So you're going to go here and click on add to website. Then you pick how you want to add. I normally go for inline embed and then continue that. And this is your code. So you're going to copy this code and go back to your editor, paste your code there and click save. And now you're going to save it again. Oh, okay. So here's where I made a mistake. So this is an order page. So here you need paid calendar. You cannot have a third party calendar on an order page. So let's go back to our lead page all right so let's say you want to have that calendly calendar in your funnel then you can have your calendar in your squeeze page so go ahead and add the raw html code in the row um click on edit code and paste the code here and then you click save there we go and then save your page and preview it and the calendar will show up here there we go so that's your calendly calendar shows up in your system io funnel so i hope that makes sense let me know if you guys have any questions about the calendars and how to use them and if you have more questions or if you want more system IO trainings, let me know in the comments what training should I do next. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.